Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. Well, congratulations for the new computer. And if you have installed a fresh Windows 11 copy, do these settings immediately after installing or if you have bought a new computer. This tutorial will be a complete guide and I'm sure it will give you a complete satisfaction because after doing these settings, your computer performance, the battery life, and overall look and feel will be way better in your computer and you can use your computer with ease so the very first thing here do a right click in the start icon go to settings and at the left hand side we will go to the option called system now here in the system the very first thing is to disable the notifications from most of the apps because you might be using apps but you do not need notifications from all the apps so from here you can turn off the notifications whatever the notification you do not want all right so you can do that and once you see that you do not want a notification from snipping tool you can turn it off and from power and battery outlook uh, microsoft store and like that live wallpaper you can do that because these notification services takes the resources of the computer right once this is done click on the system again and then we will go to power and battery screen and sleep battery usage power mode and energy saver so i will click on that and optimize your device based on power use and performance so if you're not using your computer for editing or gaming you can simply uh, do this on best power efficiency or you can simply select balanced balanced always works for me and i keep it balanced plugged in and on battery so when you plug on plug in the computer i mean the charger it will be balanced and even on battery if you want uh, best performance you can do that all right you can try that it will be very helpful now i'll click on system again and then we will go with nearby sharing discoverability receive file location so if you if you do not connect your computer with any other laptop or devices you can turn off nearby sharing because it will always you know uh, send signals and uh, use resources of your computer so i have turned off the nearby sharing share files photos links uh, nearby windows devices so if you do not use it you can turn it off all right i'll click on system again and then we will scroll down scroll down and i think we are done with this and then we will go to personalization that's the fifth option from the left hand side i will click on that and here we will scroll down and we will go to the taskbar behaviors now for most of us we are used to of the left hand side the task manager right not the center one so if you do not need it if you want the left hand side you can simply go to the task behavior and select the alignment taskbar alignment from center to left you can do that and i'm sure you will feel good because i personally like it at the left hand side that's optional you can do that and you can also change that so once this is done we will move to the next step which is apps and here once we click on apps we need to click on installed apps so there must be many apps which you will not be using it right so you can uninstall it let's say if you will not if you do not want the co-pilot you can simply click on this three dots and you can uninstall right and you can scroll down the feedback hub or do not touch the graphics audio if you do not want the live wallpaper you can simply click on uninstall and it will uninstall it for you currently i have uninstalled it if you do not use any other apps you can see the size how much size it is taking and then you can check one by one so in this manner you are not only making your computer faster you are saving the resources of the hard drive 
and the RAM usage and the processor usage. So take, I mean, spend good amount of time here and see one by one. All right. Just uh, let's say if you do not need power autom automation, you can simply uninstall it. Right. Once this is done, we will move to the next step, and that is accessibility. And here, accessibility, visual effects, because this visual effects takes a lot of battery, a lot of resources. So you can, if the transparency effect is turned on, it feels good, it looks good, but it also uses a lot of resources. So if you do not want that, if you want your computer performance with battery and everything, then you can turn it off because I don't like my computer to be charged again and again. Currently, I'm getting seven to eight hours without any issues. And if I turn on these, it will make it two to three hours lesser. So I do not need that. Now, animation effect, if you want that, you can turn it on. I do not need it. I will turn off the animation effects as well from the accessibility. Now we will go to the privacy and security option. And under Windows permission, uh, under general advertising ID app launches, let me show my personalized ads advertising ID. You can turn it off. Let website show me locally relevant uh, things. You can turn it off if you wish. Let Windows improve start and search results. I have turned it off. And show me suggested content in the settings app. I have turned it off. Because I can do it whenever I want it. And I do not want the continuous, you know, usage in the background. Now, under inking and typing personalization, you can turn on. And if you do not want that, use my typing history and handwriting patterns. If you type a lot, you can turn it on. If you do not, just turn it off. All right. Now I will click on privacy and security again. Diagnostic feedback. Send diagnostic data, send optional data. It is up to you whether you want to send it. Send optional diagnostic data. And if you do not want, you can turn it off. All right. Now I'll click on privacy and security again. Search permission. You can search. The moderate will be fine and it will be very good for you. So once you're done with this, we can simply update the drivers. And I'll tell you how you can update the driver. And we will also create a local account. So you have created an online account where you log in. But let's say if you forgot or if something happens, you should have an additional local account which has admin rights. So I will also tell you how we can do that. So I'll close it. I'll click on search and I'll type user. And then it says, change user account control add edit or remove users on this device i'll click on add edit now here it says add other user i'll click on add account and it says how uh, will this person sign in so since we are creating a local offline account all right so there should be an offline account as well apart from online so i'll select I don't have this person sign in information. And then it says get a new uh, email address or add a user without Microsoft account. So I will select add a user without a Microsoft account. Now, who's going to use this PC? I'll mention Jack admin like that. And you can enter the password and can you can enter the password if you want the security question you can try that and i'll just mention these this is just a demo so i'll just mention the demo answers and demo questions all right once this is done i'll click on next so i have successfully created a local account so i have mentioned jack admin now i also have to make it administrator so under once i click on this this down arrow key we need to change the account type and from standard user i'll make it administrator and i'll click on okay so now you can see i have a administrator local account though i had a uh, different account already i had a local account but in your case if you do not have the local account 
you can always create a local account a offline account all right so this is how you can do the settings and this will be very handy and very helpful and it will improve the performance you will see the usage the overall performance will be better and i'm sure you will like it do let me know in the comment section whether you like these settings or not and i'll be glad if you share with your loved ones with your friends and please hit the like and subscribe i really need your support i'll see you in the next tutorial have a wonderful day take care